different. I was saying just there, having two heroes that want to build Midas together cause issues, especially against a difficult team like Secret that will be able to punish that sort of play. Curious to see what Secret's going to do. So yeah, right, the last opener, Invoker. Yeah. As well as that Tiny. And uh, is it, what is the win rate for Support Invoker? I feel like it's still without a loss. Seconds remaining. You might be, yeah. It's, Jarex won, it's Yapsor won, newbie. Yapsor won, and Newbie won. So yeah. that's the four that I've I'm seen. I'm pretty sure won. it's just one every game. Yep. So they're going to switch it up this time. They're going to be going for the Shadow Demon, who I believe was, it was. banned. Uh, they banned it out themselves. They banned Shadow Demon and Marana because Alk was banned by TNC in game one. So they got themselves the Shadow Demon this time around. So what combos to the Shadow Demon always going to Heroes. Ten seconds remaining. TNC Predators. Flexible hero, all right. No, not flexible. Okay. So they're actually just straight up picking a combo that we've seen ran quite a bit here as the Shadow Demon said. Very high kill threat, and the Luxio gets picked up to too. I mean, needs to. Otherwise, Secret would have banned it in the second yes. place. They did last time, and they probably would do again, especially showing the Centaur this early. So TNC, snap pick there. Reaction to the Centaur. Obviously, Secret, uh, do have the Shadow Demon. I've seen... We've, well, to be fair, we've seen that not really put Deems off picking the Lifestealer. Uh, we, yep. We've seen Lifestealer being picked so many times because it has so many benefits elsewhere, uh, especially when the hero Centaur is picked build this early. It's still, I still feel like it still can be scary when you pick this life Serian Testy. You, think, you just yeah. get, you, demo, you get, you get demonic purge inside of a team fight. You're well, to, to the point like you where you rage, you get purge. It's your entire rage duration that you're slowed I mean, and you can't really move. So it's pretty scary. I feel like you need a method of delivery for the life stealer. Because like, if you were drafting, would you, would you see that SD center opening, and would you, would you even consider life stealer? For you, would, you, would you say it is that, that worrisome in your mind that you would not play life stealer? Well, Owen, I'm a new. <laughs> but you wouldn't. You, you, well, you would not want to pick it. It's about the lane, right? It's about the centaur. It's that he can actually do well versus but you, the centaur. But yeah, as you lane. say, you got to so think of the whole game. You got to think of the whole thing. So, so it can you, be a you bit wouldn't scary. like it. Not, not a hundred percent. It's, it's okay, but I, I'm. It's, it's always a worry versus shadow demon. It's always gonna be a big worry. See, also, it's like bloodlust as well. Bloodlust is life there. It's always getting constantly dispelled off during the show. I mean, well, and what do you think Puppy's opinion is of it? Because. In I'm reality, sure in reality, this. would Puppy have banned the lifesteal? Like, did they really need to pick it that early? Or do you think Puppy probably doesn't mind the Life Stealer because he has the Shadow Demon and he probably thinks that, well, I've got a Shadow Demon, they, they can pick Life Stealer. We, there's other bands that we'd rather ban. I think TNC moved it up the list because it got banned in the 4th 5 last time. Sure. Right? So they were just like, all right, we have to actually get it here. Otherwise, Team Secret will just ban it out because they play this Life Stealer junk. And they're banning out now the counters of the Life Stealer in particular. Two big ones, of course. The Morphling, Morphling versus Life Stealer is just, yeah. That matchup is for Life Stealer because you're Rage Morphling. That loves to play versus that. So anyway, and Slark versus. Five ban out the Rubik remaining. themselves. So because they have like the Centaur, I feel like Rubik versus Centaur can be nice because stealing. Yep. And then it counteracts it really not your life stealer. Who, uh, if you were demonic purged, it could be pretty scary. But if you do get stampede, it's and they do ban the method of delivery. I think that's the one thing I would always like to see. If you're playing Life Stealer versus Shadow Demon, you need to have something that gets you into the front lines. That Storm Ban is definitely looking like. So this Lena pick, I feel like it's a flex, right? That's Yapsor or a mid one. Yeah, for sure. You know, I want to see for TNC, something that used to be really hot on the old puck. That's what I was thinking as well. Oh, I can play it, Cuckoo can play it. It's the vessel you need, and it's the way to counter, counter the, uh, the Stampede. Yep, totally agree. I think the puck is Get on the top ideal. of the Lena, get on top of the SD. Puck would be beautiful for TNC. Guys. So, but I've not been able to catch any of the other games, so I don't know if they've been playing it here. I don't. I mean, not a lot of teams many. have really. What, what? I mean, what else against the Stampede? What are you thinking of? That sort of good AOE. Call. I mean, Mars is one of. The people yeah, used but it's going to gonna mean that Ogre's going to have to shift somewhere else, which I not necessarily too comfortable with. I feel like some most fives. of the time they probably want it on Kuku. Yeah, we have seen some fives though. But you're right. You know, anything with that sort of control and grab. Yeah. The Stampede. Is Mars. He's a blink builder as well, so he can Puck. act as a delivery system for the life stealer, the Mars. Mm -hmm. But Puck, yeah, Puck is the one that like stands out as the yeah. the old school ones, right? Life stealer with Puck, life stealer with Storm. Those are the ones we use quite a lot. And like you said, oh, versus or even the Silencer, right? Silencer is going to put a lot of stop to these saves, stop the disruptions, stop the stampede if you have timing right. Support Silencer. We, we saw a lot of teams picking that before. Not a big fan of. Are oh, just too squishy? You, you feel like you, you're you're more so likely hard. to get run over than yeah. actually get the global off before Stampede. You For me, I feel like Silencer is one of those picks where it's like Enigma. 
feel like, or you, if you have a bat rider and you use like the lasso combo with the silence, I feel like besides that, silencers are pretty. About Enigma, he can't be Enigma this game. It's not much worries. Team secrets turn to pick. Oh, oh, what a Magnus! I like it. I okay. like it. So that buff up there for the life save, they've got double buffs, help, bloodlust, yeah. and help him cut through the SD illusions. However, the, with the cleave, SD demonic purge does okay. dispel both. Oh, so that oh, is no. it's a pretty oh, good no. one. Don't tell them. Very good versus the life saver. Even if he pops the rage, demonic purge will be able to dispel both of those. Ten seconds for the duration of it. Five seconds remaining. So here I think they can pick another like Ten mid slash four position. Okay, oh, just kidding. Avenge. So Avenge. Just another bit of a new hero. We don't really get to see a lot of Venge, do we? Did Nisha Venge? Uh, Nisha used to play it a lot. He used back to play on, it, uh, right? Back on Kingwin. Right. They used to do. They used to run Nisha on the Venge in the safe lane, yeah. It's and a Nisha little... Nisha used to do that. It's a little unlikely, but the matchup for Life versus Lifesteer isn't really that bad. You have really high armor. You give really high right clicks. It's just Ten like Lifesteer, once he gets his Bastion mm -hmm. stuff online, he really does big problem. so... Not sure if it's that... Five seconds it's probably remain. Puppy Venge and then what? Yaps or... I guess it's still, it's, yeah, still it, it it's still flexible. Yeah, it is. It's again one of those drafts from the secret where we're four heroes in. And yeah. And now this is a way to like break things, right? This uh, eventual spirit, they can change the way that the fight starts. So if they see somebody, they can just swap stun people a lot of the times. We've seen spirit execute that before in the. Or even just the save. Let's say if the Magnus does RP carry hero that they choose to go for, if this is the vengeful support, it might be. It's a save. They have double saves now Shadow Demon plus Venge. Protect. If it is. You can see they're really running their clock. They're probably feeling the I same. I still, yeah. About, like, which hero is going turn to be. Templar assassin. Showing the TA, so they, I mean, by doing that, they're saying, all right, the Lena's going mid. Yeah. Right? Which it still might not be the case. And I've st I don't know how the matchup is anymore. In the past, TA versus Lena, we've seen some Lena's win when the mm -hmm. TA had the refraction that worked super well. Now the refraction is a little bit different. I feel like we could see a little bit of a shift, at least in the matchup. But TA still can. Or Ten seconds remaining. Maybe we'll win. It depends. I mean, it depends. Like I said, I've seen it go both ways. Depending. Five seconds remaining. This makes them mostly physical damage now on TNC, as yeah. they have their bloodlust in a double hero tier. So we're probably going to see a lot of armor items getting picked up for teams and guard rush on the. Not a lot of magic damage for TNT. They're going to need someone that close, wraps it up to... They have side blades at least. Low. You're expecting with the way that the draft looks for it to be a, a support hero, right? Right, that's, what, that's how I'm if, feeling, but if, also... As you hero. say, if Ogre's stepping into a support role, they're saving their offlaner to last, like that would feel more... I don't know, it feels just a bit weird, right, to sort of have your fifth pick be a support. Yeah. I'd rather have... Because if you don't... But then if I you mean, Ogre Magnus, Ogre Magnus support, like, how do you make plays? Yeah, sure. Like, it, it seems really... Yeah. I mean, sure, we've seen the people do, like, the skewer then, plays and all, but... But then why are you picking your TA now? Maybe maybe they maybe they were just worried of it getting banned, because they don't have last pick overall. So they were just... Maybe just worried. Yeah. Because, because there's a leader get, in the it game. It does get last banned a lot. in the game, it would probably have been banned. How about the CM? Back. They're expecting support. Yeah. TNC, I mean, what are, what are they expecting? We, we would imagine it, it... Well, well, it depends if this is is, is core Venge. I'd imagine it's Nisha's, but yeah, like we said, yeah. it could be Venge. Even though I like the Venge, they're having the double saves. is can be nice, but... Now, tell me. Does Yapsil play a support puck? He does, doesn't he? Five seconds He's done it before, remaining. right? Uh, puck and Venge? Yeah, uh, just for the combo, that one. It's they, a pretty done it in the good past. combo, bro. They've done it in the past, and I have seen. I saw Kuroki play five TNC positions. Predators Fuck you. Predators they're expecting the carry. Yeah, they're expecting expecting the Venge to be poor. I think that's the more than likely one. TNC final pick. Will be the expected to support, or are we going to see the ogre step down and then maybe get something else? Cuckoo. Ten seconds. Really you really want the puck? I mean, it, it does look like it can fit. Uh, it, Five I, it's it's probably going to be good. Team but they, they've done it in out. both. Bad it's the bat. Okay. So this will be the... That's the delivery. That's the other delivery they have for the life stealer. Okay. There. So they are going to set the ogre down. You imagine Cuckoo's going to be... This isn't a support, but this is a Cuckoo. 
Or is it a support bat? You want it as Cuckoo. You, you want to give it farm priority. As you say, you do want to get at least one of your cores able to get the lifesteal around And they pick the bat into the Venge. Venge swap versus what? Bat Rider. Oh, no. And they have a Shadow oh, Demon save. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I was impressed with TNC's lineup in game one, but this one has... Uh, they've got a few question marks going the way of TNC on this. Let's have a look. Sniper. It's the Sniper. So own. now it's going to be a Venge carry. Venge carry. Lena support. Wait. Yep. Yeah. Lena, yeah. Lena SD support. Yep. Psy Sensor. The Sniper. In. Yeah, indeed. Tim's taking the Ogre. So it will be Cuckoo Bat. And actually, Mid One's going to play the Venge. Nisha's going to play the Sniper. We'll see if they, they do take it to the side lane. Sniper, or if they are going to just do a, a roll swap this game, uh, but Whoa. yeah, there's some, some mid one venge, mid one adding some more heroes to to the hero list that he's bringing out this this group stage. And today, mid one Jakira, and now a mid one vengeful spirit. Thompson was the one who was doing that last year, right? The mid venge, and he would just go for. He actually wasn't like skilling stun. I don't know if we'll see it this, but he went to like the zero four four build or like one three four build or something Ten like that. And he was just he was just stacking up on stats, and he was actually doing. Better in some. I thought he was going to do worse in some of the matchups than he did, but he actually did pretty decent. Okay, this is. But can, I mean, well, cause what kind of lanes is he going to for? Because I feel like Sniper in a side lane isn't going to have a good time if there's a bat against him, right? Yeah, I would. So I would imagine that, they want to have that. That bat can like, get on top of them pretty easy early on. Maybe middle, middle, middle one's just like. I don't but at the same time, what you feel, Venge. Has a better time against a TA in the mid? No, I feel, like no the, I feel like this, I feel like Sniper would no, have a better gonna, time. I think Sniper mid and you do the you tri lane. This tri lane from Secret is so strong. Venge, right. Lina, SD, they get free kills all day. Well, so Nisha's still going to be. We have seen this in the past, right? Like, yep. uh, what other heroes did Nisha do this with? Uh, when they get Medusa, right? Medusa is the other one. Medusa yeah. the other one. Nisha's. If they get Medusa, they'll put Nisha Medusa in the mid. As you said, we'll go play some aggressive tri lane. That's what I'd imagine, at least. I don't think that they'd switch it. Like, why would you go so far outside? But. It's secret we're talking. And of course, you know, they're, they're having the sniper this game, yeah. they've, they've got a lot of saves, they have both the disruption and the stampede, so it's a multiple ways of keeping the little man safe. So many saves. Yeah, so many saves. Oh which is, is going to be very annoying for, for... I feel like all of TNC's cores are going to have trouble making plays. That's you're, how you're I gonna, feel as well, You're going right? to have a TA it's jumping on a difficult. target, a lifestealer trying to jump on a target, but as I say, disruption, stampede, you can have Cuckoo trying to lasso someone. They're going to get Venge swapped. It's I, This does not look like an easy draft for TNC to pull off. This feels like Secret have really got the upper hand on this one in game two. But we'll see. Maybe TNC's got an idea that we don't necessarily see from this lineup. But it really does seem like this draft's going to run into a lot of problems. Yeah, I do feel so as well. It just feels it feels really solid by Secret. Even though it looks a little bit unorthodox, they have a crazy amount of damage, crazy amount of saves as well. Like even. Yeah, I, it feels like TNC is it's greedy. It's got, they've got an Ogre support, they've got the Magnus support as well. We see them all setting up in the mid lane, as expected. They're playing versus Centaur. You're expecting this guy to walk mid to get his Retaliate stacks. They're already prepped with that skewer skilled up and everything. His eye has not shown up. Game two of Secret. Uh, TNC. TNC definitely bringing in... Game one. Is it better? We'll have to wait and find out. 30 seconds to battle. Drafts go. There's a lot of things that be left unanswered and secret. Their heroes seem to have all the answers. Yeah, definitely, definitely concerned. The bat rider into the venture spirit too. The swap it. Yep. And this tri lane, this is this is scary. SD centaur, lots of kills coming out. Well, I look at that. This playmaking for team much more difficult. It's like they have to land a skewer to make a play. That's the really how it feels begins. like. This is mid one. No, three for one. Three for one, sorry. As Ayu, he's got to position himself oh. for the skewer. Hey! And now, though, he's under some pressure here. Oh. Is he going to TP immediately after the stun? His eyes coming over too, though. Is he going to skill stun for this? He is. He is. All right, he says, screw the lane, I want first blood. Yep, I think that's absolutely worth it. Why not? You get first blood onto Yapsor, and he can pick up what? He picks up his Bassy as well as a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, that's classy Yapsor, right? I mean, Zai's like, come on, dude, I had to kill Stomp for that. <laughs> Why didn't you let me take the kill? So, yeah, you know, he, he does a, a cute little play where he skewers Puppy up on the thing. The Puppy just TP's top, and that's actually just worth it as oh no Tim's he went to try to secure range creep top and he missed it with the stun in case. And 
Let's see how Nisha's mid one skills, uh, mid one skills, mid skills are. Right, yep. against Arm LTA. Not, not an easy opponent, but uh, there's definitely going to be, well, as you say, you're going to have the shrapnel to deal with the refraction. Now, going to be ready to play aggressive, and if he can get those side blades, certainly trade the damage back pretty nicely. I feel like Gabby's going to have a really hard time bottom. He's gone for Orb of Venom build, so he can stick on top of the Centaur a lot and give all those extra right clicks, but the, the way that they started out, look at this, he's already getting pressured so much from these two. There's a Bassy on this Lina. Lina's hitting for 67 damage every time he gets a right click onto this left, and there's no protection. Oh, good top. Yeah, they've got a good attempt on Puppy. Six sticky napalm stacks. He's got the stick charge, though. That will be enough to, to allow him to back off, let those sticky stacks removed. And how's the CS looking? Five for one, six for one. Very even between the two. With them salving up. Just covering the area with shrapnel, making it a little bit harder for get in and rely on keep fraction stacks up moved pretty immediately by those shrapnel ticks gabby can't farm he can't get a single last hit bottom he has two zai just giving him the right click yapsor also giving them the right click there's nothing a magnus can do this lane is really problematic for tnc top they're putting up a little bit of pressure on but now he's getting turned on cuckoo might actually just go down here there's another stun for mid one in a second and yeah he's just dead these lanes are going really poorly right now, except for that mid lane for TNC. They have that going for them, but well, I mean, he do might they? actually also go do down they? too. Oh my god, there's another shrapnel. Ooh. He commits it and he gets the kill. All three lanes. All right. Uh-oh. Drafting issues, laning issues. This is not how TNC wanted to start this game. This is a tough one here already off that first one. Puppy being chased down. Tim's won't even be able to close the gap here. They're turning, setting up here. Turn on to Tim's. Yapsor and Zai continuing the pressure onto Gabby, also bottom, dropping him low. And he has no regen. How much do they have? They have a, a salve left on AU, but... This is looking already pretty brutal in these... I think Armel is going to ha have to be the X-Factor here. Two side lanes already yeah. look so devastating. And he is that hero that can be. You know, he's, he's still trading farm very well with Nisha, nice and he will obviously have that that opportunity to head into the jungles, get those camps, ancient camps, and still hit his item timings, even if he does get heavily bullied out by yeah. Nisha's sniper. After he's done that, he is going to have to make a lot happen across the map. Bottom lane, McKee. Gabby, he's getting a couple last hits here now under the tower. Yep, so can you just chase around AU? So maybe he tries to set up here for a skewer, but he gets stunned up here. And uh-oh, the damage coming into play. Hey, you. I'm right clicking down. Hey, you does get the skewer under the tower, but hey, you will die for Gabby. Gabby. Gabby also. He's got to be careful. In fact, he's dead. Secret get the two of them. This the disaster continues for TNC. This lane is over. This bottom lane. Like, they can't lane versus this at all. The centaur hits way too hard. Lena hits way too hard as well. They've got the double stuns. They're high-fiving each other. They're feeling themselves. Life stealer, Gabby. Seven last hits. Doesn't even bring any more regen to the lane either. They have, they still only have one salve down bottom. They have no regen down here on these. Boy. And they can't really swap the lanes up, right? It doesn't no. get any better if Gabby goes top. Top's, top, no. top is just as bad. It's a, it's a vengeful plus nearly lose here. the courier. And Japso, he's still trying to hunt for it there. Tried to, to get the fire assault stack up and go in with the movement speed, but won't be able to quite find it. The courier safe, at least TNC. Cuckoo started to recover up top after that one death. He's got a good amount of last hits in the lane here. You know, mid and top, not going so poorly, but bottom is a total. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Well, yeah, Shadow Poison stacks up. There's stack on stack action here, really. Shadow Poison's against the Sticky Nade Palm. Cuckoo they lift the wave as well. Starting to dive in onto Puppy with the the Firefly. will do it, Cuckoo. And able to get in and get the first kill for TNC this game. Very nicely done lift for that creep to survive so they don't get the tower aggro switch. You that dive. Out AU. At the same time, you know, even though Gabby, they, they had the tough start down bottom, he's, he's keeping on par with the CS of mid one yeah. on the opposite side of the map. He does have a death, though. He's able to at least pick up the chainmail. At least he has a little bit more armor versus that high physical damage coming in. So you could just non-stop trying to throw spells at him. Just the rage, send him. They're actually just sending AU 
to go just make some stacks. This is just like, okay, I I obviously can't help. Gotta do something. Yeah, because I mean, with TSC's lineup, well, one thing they can do is they can come back in. in with yeah, the, they can the Empowered life stealer, the TA, uh, side blades, there's creep killing that can be done after the laning stage, so catch up potential will be there if the time is given to them by Secret. We'll see how Secret fast they play. So they've certainly got cores that are very speedy running this safe lane venge. And that to a certain point mid one's gonna be constantly on the lookout to rotate and make plays with the rest of his lineup. Yeah, mid one and Zai are definitely gonna be once around to kill Zai is level six already. So they have Stampede available, something else they do have to watch out for on the side of TNC if they can make any aggressive moves. Far up, yep, sort of trading it with the Tims. Lane. Managed to find Cuckoo Stampede used to help them finish off the kill. Cuckoo will fall and indeed it's just seven minutes in Zykes taking the bottom tier one tower. A very, very quick timing. He's gonna be he's gonna be a tanky one and he's already I was like we were mentioning he's probably going for the Crimson Guard build this game because he versus both of that TA as well as that life series. So they oh, do that they're in early. The, got the skewer here. Mid one's TP to be cancelled. As Cuckoo and AU come back to the top lane and will be able to kill off the Venge. Very nice. Very needed. <laughs> Gabby's gonna need a magnitude of space from team in order to catch back up as this matchup like we said it's not a great life stealer game because they picked they opened up with it so it was allowed to prepare everything else to deal with this life stealer and they even did have the shadow demon in the opener versus it swaps disruptions stampedes everything to kite the life stealer yeah and in the overall aspect of the game like centaur in the lane sure you see life stealer is great versus it but overall like stampede be very strong and a centaur who's off to this type of start packs a punch he hits much harder than the life stealer yeah can't trade hits even with that life steal yeah and we see like i was mentioning he's got the ring of health he's got the chain mail so like you can expect he's going for crimson i'll give puppy the lane for a little bit there's six online both teams warding at the exact same time here in the uh, TNC jungle, so either the way, either of them actually spotted each other. Literally placed identical timing. Yeah, the swap. That's the setup. Swap back into the stun combo. Tim's is tanky, but not tanky enough as Zai will be able to run and keep the vision, allow Yapsor to take the kill, and it's eight minutes in. Secret putting some fire down onto the tier two. I mean, he has plus 170. He pops the retaliate. He wants to just hit the tower. They're gonna, they're gonna look to take this tier two. TNC, you have to react. Losing a tier two this early is not where you want to be at all. Yeah, Cuckoo's gonna come in and that they will start to back off, respecting yeah. the fact that TNC are coming in with the wraparound. So the tier two will be held safe for now. How's the farm? TA pulling ahead Lady here over the sniper by a little bit because of those jungle stacks that we saw AU was preparing for himself. But that being said, Nisha also has his own jungle stacks ready, and he will be going for that Midas, of course, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, CDR. So he'll have his own yeah. farm rate to probably keep pace with that TA as long as the kills. Midas, Midas snipers. It's you, you, if you're not going it, you're playing the hero wrong. Yep, probably. That having that level 10 cooldown reduction talent. Is Radiant are scanning. Incredible value point there where I wonder if uh, if you do the match it's probably worth him getting that level 10 before he uses the Midas first. Middle Top lane. The Stampede. It's going to save him. He's actually going to get away because of it. And yep, sort as well. Is he going to get caught? He does. Okay, so they at least get Cuckoo. this one set up here. Yeah, so grabbing the lean up. Give it a Gabby. Yeah, definitely give it a Gabby. He needs these kills to recover as he is starting to recover. I'm told the fight continues. Swap back onto Tim's. Into the assassinate and Tim's will fall. Nisha's game continues to go good, and I was keeping an eye on him. He hit the perfect timing. Cuckoo. He literally got the Midas as he hit 10. So that first usage... He's stepping up far. ...already being reduced by the CDR. It's Cuckoo. This is not his home. There's a lot They're of stacks. Down him. He bounces Zai into the neutral. Oh, oh my god, okay, Cuckoo! Maybe it is Cuckoo. Using the ancient stacks against Secret. What a, what a nice out. play. That was sick by Cuckoo. Yeah, oh, you can never underestimate the Cuckoo bat. He had the four stacks on him, and yeah, pushes him right into that Prowler. Very nicely done. All right, starting to, to get a bit of a better grasp of the game, TNC, after yep. a tough laning start. The net burst back to pretty much even with these plays. Yeah, I mean, Cuckoo, that, that's huge for him, right? How much does he even get? 516 for killing Zai there. So, that's just pretty finished. much the money for the bots all yeah. on the blink.
Whichever he wants to favor game first. Mm. I'll see this again. Look at his beauty. Two heroes around him. Demonic Purge. It doesn't matter. Sticks pop. Oh. Bounced into the ancient Zai. He doesn't know what hit him. He didn't panic either, right? He, you could see that he was very disciplined and calm. He, he even turned Sticky the Ancient, made sure that he got all the They nicely done it. Degret, they're looking to set up here for a mid push. They even cut that tree, the Light Strike Array, to make sure the inside of that hit spot. More ranged hero, full rally. Taking these early objectives. Did I, did I happen? It okay. does! The Batrider Cuckoo, again! Now they're gonna try and maybe chase a little bit. For Puppy AU, he's looking to try and go for the walk here, but he's getting Laguna Blade. It has to skewer back, swap back in, AU will fall. Puppy's still alive. How's he still alive? As they were unable to kill him off, swap back onto Cuckoo. They'll take the bat as well. Two How's dead on TNC. How's Puppy still alive? I know the Stampede, like, said him, and he ran into them, though, with it. Somehow still surviving during all this. And they're continuing to put the pressure on here. Radiant structure. They know Life Stealer is nowhere near ready to fight. The map away from TNC is, is going to be very painful. As we said, they, they have a lineup. They've just got these two heroes that want to be hitting in the creep camps. The Empowered Life Stealer and TA. I feel like TNC, they have to be able to take a tower themselves here. I feel like they have to just make their own move to go for pressuring, because this is what we saw Secret do last game. They took two Tier 1s, they took a Tier 2, they took another Tier 2, and then from there, it was all about the map control and just getting off and not allowing it in any farm whatsoever. And they're starting to set up for that. It's still only a 1k deficit. TNC, okay, they're going to start setting the smoke up, so they really want to fight this Tier 2 instead of trying to like, look uh, for their own trade. Five heroes to get the wraparound Secret. Trying to lead in. Will be demonic purged. Abby trying to go in on Zai, but Zai too tanky for him to deal with. Armor's gonna come in with the wrap round. They'll focus towards Puppy. They'll get more. They five fly back into the lasso. They've got the control. They've taken a second. They'll get Zai as well. Three dead on secret AU. He's on top of Nisha. Nisha and Yaps are the last two left remaining. Tim's turns with the fire blast. That's Nisha dead. Yaps are surrounded. TNC. They're looking for the T1. They're gonna get it. Double kill for Armel as TNC shut down the efforts of secret on that bottom lane. And they are well and truly in this game right now. Net worth is even. Armel at the top and an incredible hold. Super nicely done. They smoke and they go for the wraparound. Team Secret, they have these two wards down. So they're like, all right, we're, we're pretty safe to actually push these two. But they get caught perfectly from the wraparound. And instead of TNC looking to set up a goal of their own push, they... Fantastic amount of damage done there by Armel. Yep. Blink first, of course, over the Deso, allowing him to make these plays. He's down these heroes. Losing all five heroes like that. One of the vulnerabilities of, of Secret's play at the moment, where they are going for these five-man pushes, trying to really force the Tier 2s. We'll see it again here from TNC. At the start, it looks a, bit, a little, little rough for them. There's no Stampede available, though, so there's no Disengage available for Team Secret here. So as they lose the, they lose their, their Shadow Demon, and then Cuckoo, again, with a beautiful play, steps forward yeah. and catches the two heroes And there. just AU being able to take the Sniper out with that RP, stopping any sort of yep. backup damage being thrown in from the back lines. It all falls into place for TNC. And Gabby's back. Phase might he finished the Midas right before that fight. And now he has 1800 plus that bloodlust and that oh. power. And hunting, they will be able to swap back AU before he's able to skewer away to safety. They'll catch the mag. And they really want they're really prioritizing this tower. The puppy's even pinging it out again. He's like, this is we're killing this tower. We're checking to see if they have wards around here now too. He will be able to get this one. This tower is. HP. And this time, they do have the Stampede, as you can see. They, 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 they can afford to sort of push like that and know that they will be able to reliably at least get yeah. the majority of their heroes out. Top lane, it, Armel sees the space for a free tier one. Yeah, the tower was 10 HP anyway, so it actually just dies to the Battalion as I walks into it. And he has the Crimson, yeah, like you said. Stampede's available, Crimson Guard, they're much stronger in this upcoming. He has, but TNC also. Armel approaching that Desolator. Top she even plus will show that 47 of 53. Cuckoo. Very close to getting swapped by mid one there. This was not an easy start to the game for Getting TNC. Right. No, not at all. Not uh, the, all three lanes were Dyer's pretty rough. Is under attack. They had that catch up mechanics. 
mid one's just gonna be playing as that, like, I'm buffing my sniper roll. Phase the Vlad, he's gonna be going drum as well, so he just wants to be that big steroid for the damage ammo. They back up pushing I mean Yapsor is still bottom at the tier three. Keeping that wave pushed in. Also up a medallion. You can see a lot of medallions so mid four and top side, he's tanky. Is he tanky enough? Defensive disruption from Puppy. TNC now having to start to back away. There'll be the swap back. Gabby's caught in deep as Gabby will fall. Yes. Rest of TNC do get out of there, but losing Gabby, not the ideal there for TNC on the front. So was, do you respond with the with the full five of them coming in to yeah, turn that one around? Definitely a bit ambitious to go on him right next to the tower there, and you see he has the Crimson Guard. You know how tanky Zai is there. Yeah, you're not killing him alone. Yeah. It's surprising to see Gabby also being the one to like full commit forward. So he's the one who can risk to die. Like we said, the demonic purge. We saw it in play right there. He pops rage, doesn't matter, and gets slowed enough. And he is going for the radiant spell, so you know yeah. you, you'd expect that, that he would prioritize just in that relic time. He'll be knocked back a little bit from it. There's that a bit here. No stampede available again here for Secret Top as they just used it. They're looking to turn this. Something got instead. And so there's the game. Gabby TPing over to the tier 2. Tower falls. Zai. Everybody get the last hit with the retaliate. You almost got it. Really needing that blink dagger so they can get the catch and pull. Just so there's no. This particular just be. He saves. They still have to be very careful as mid one. He's almost level 12. Getting those easy swaps to hit the level 2 is just... Dyer's they are poised maybe to look for a type of setup here for a Roshan. They have Avenge, so they have those auras, and then they also, I believe, I saw Nisha queued up a Desolator. He's going for just straight raw damage on this snipe. They can easily look to set up for a Rosh if they get it. Play in. Taking away a Roche from a TA draft is always, always a bit of a worry. Radiant Size blink. Scanning. Very soon here. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I think it's also now done for TNC, both on Cuckoo and Armel. I thought you were going to say. Wait, Actually, no, no, sorry, not on our Cuckoo, Jane, Rob, he had pretty much the money for the blink, but he's favoring the four staff this okay. game rather than, than getting the blink first. It's probably because he's playing versus the Venge and the Shadow Demon. There's just so many different types. Like, even if Venge is in position to swap, you pop Stampede and then he runs into position. Hunting Cuckoo. Despite the killer jump inside, he's managed to get in the Hustop, the follow light strike away. He gets in the back, he gets the RP to lock them down, and Cuckoo, he lives! He gets out of there, the smoke as well, to stop the assassinate from going through as Cuckoo survives. Four man RP, but no follow up to be able to sit, but he does save at least. But now this is gonna be like, all right, we got Roche now. That's oh, a sweet, sweet disengage. And I don't know who smoked that was, but someone just saved Cuckoo's bacon. Was it, who was the smoke? Was it Tim's with the smoke? I think it What's was. What's his play? Gets assassinated, smoke, bam. Yeah, it was Tim's. Into the shadows he goes. Tim's now with the smoke safe. DD Nisha, they've got all this damage to TNC, they're positioned around this area here. Roshan's getting low. See if they can get in. Life Tracker Ray catches the two of them. Cuckoo's still watching from the side. They'll try and turn though. Tim, they've got the damage with they've the blast. Mipon's out. Gabby's still alive up to the high ground into AU. Back. Are you keeping him safe? Are you? He's trying to skew it back here. He's holding on to it for now. Mipon will buy back for this Roshan fight. TNC. Still forcing secret. To be very careful how they go about finishing it. Secret are going to try and continue. They'll look towards Tim's. Tim on the front. He's caught up by the magic missile. Tim's immediate buyback. No hesitation to get back in the game. Secret continuing to focus down Roche. Cuckoo, he swapped in. He's under the Roche. The clap comes out. Gabby moves in with the rage. Puppy's hailed off to the side. He's got a disruption to keep it safe. They excuse it. Look at Manisha. Roche is low. The stun's out. Fire blast onto Yapso. Yapso, two man light drop and arm out. In with the hit. The mount hit takes him out. Buyback from Yapso. There's no buyback available for Zai. No buyback available for Cuckoo. But TNC, they're in the pit. They'll get the Roche. They'll get the Aegis. They'll look towards Mipon. Mipon's in trouble. This would be a dieback. He tries to turn, but he's surrounded. Mipon will fall. Dead for 70 seconds and Gabby's not done. He's onto the Shadow Demon. Puppy's out. He's looking for more. Yapso's gone as well. Four dead on secret. TNC take the lead. Oh my god. They're actually able to force them out of the pit there. Reset everything and just close the gap. Just too much damage coming out. The sniper's still too squishy. He can't actually commit forward to do anything. Anisha just had to run away because they just committed straight into the pit there. 
Oh my god, they get my that rush. Finish. And the Radiant's finished with the Aegis and another 1,500 gold now for Gabby. Now, Secret, they are running. A carry Venge. This is a hero that can it will fall off. Especially if you buy back die. Your game grinds to a halt. Look at his farm. I can't uh -oh. I can't see it. Where's his farm? It's not there, mid one. Falling behind. Falling behind behind so that's such a such a crucial situation there. This area, absolutely everything. You see how many wards they committed. Look at Secrets. They put two wards down just to, to watch both sides, just trying to make sure that they can try to successfully get this Roche, but TNC relentlessly throwing bodies. And you know, I think TNC, they took your advice, Fault. I asked you at the start of the series, how you beat Secret? You say you play your own Dota. This draft from TNC, this is TNC I don't yeah. think this draft should work. But the, the matter of the fact is, this is the heroes that TNC are confident on. A Gabby Lifestealer, an Arm LTA, and a cuckoo bat. Yeah, these I mean, three heroes, they are countered by by Secret's lineup, but it doesn't matter because this is what TNC do. Yeah, cuckoo's had a spectacular performance far on this bat rider, just building up for the tank, building up for getting into the front lines. Rather going for that blink dagger, he doesn't go for the armor build this game. He went for the spell lamp because he wanted to just do a little be that because he's the only magic damage on his team. He wants to be able to at least do that. But yeah, he's just running in, charging in, starting the fights for his team, causing havoc. A bit of a panic. Dyer's top tower is under attack. That doesn't take the 300 health town either. He's going because he wants to be that magic damage for his team. Flame break duration too. I've seen like some arguments. It's like you either take, you know, you either take the right side talent or you take the left side on those. The armor and then. Jin number on top. Jump onto Cuckoo, nuked down by the Laguna Blade. They'll get one. Can Secret get more out of this? They'll look for Tim's. Tim's starting to separate himself for the team. Bye bye from Cuckoo. He's boxing over as well towards the Creeks. Wants to get back in, but Tim's will fall. Yams was in trouble though. Gabby on top of the two of them, and now they're towards mid one. Armel, he's sure. chasing down the back line. BK's been popped. He's focusing down the sniper. He kills off Nisha. Looks to Zai. Slowed down. Drag back as well by the Shockwave. Zai, he's trying to run away. Hey, you, he's not messing around. RP down on Zai. Triple kill for Armel. Mid one's going for the TPR. He'll manage to escape. But he's the only one to survive on Secret as again, TNC taking every single team fight. As I don't know if Secret can come back into this. It really doesn't feel like it. There's, they seem to just be able to get on top of Nisha every single time there. They lost the Batrider, but like you said, Cuckoo, he pops the Glyph, Boots travels on the Creep Wave, they can't kill the Creep, he's able to join the fight, get on top of them there. And the Secret had to blow absolutely everything to kill him there. And now it's 23 minutes, it's a TNC's lineup is the one that's pushing high ground, taking a Rex. Despite 10 minutes ago, it was Secret trying to play the fast-paced Dota. But TNC, they're able to punish them, slow their game down. And it's going to be ever so hard for Secret to get this lineup back on track. Surge of momentum there. Kind of expected, right, with, with the TA. Once you get a couple of these kills rolling, once they get a couple of these fights, they're able to easily push up toward that high ground and get that Rex. Yeah, Secret, they're going to have to find some type of method of recovery here. Kind of just have to sit back behind each other, so, I mean, mid one, he's now a glorified support. He really is. And Zai, who's having this incredible start, right? Super farmed in this game. He's 2 4 and 11. He's also been getting caught out here, so we're gonna see this one again as they blow everything to kill Cuckoo. We see Zai, he commits forward to try to protect, but Gabby, during the Demonic Purge, he's able to still commit onto mid one. I mean, and look easily. at this one. Tim's just throwing his body. He just yep. makes a beeline straight towards Nisha. So Nisha has to shoot him, and Nisha doesn't have the opportunity to focus on any of the, the bigger kills, the bigger cores, and it buys that time. Tim's with the selfless play. Tim's certainly impressing this game. A couple times, right? Even around the Roche Pit, he just walked in and died for his, his team. His positioning, the places in which he dies, they're perfect. Now, invested up on Armel. They're jumping for Yakuar. Oh, oh, yeah. He's just dead. Deleted. Oh, my goodness. Secret, they've got to run. The hunt is on. Midbot tries for a TP. Quickly cancels it. Says, I'll take the walk back home instead of taking the TP ride. The stamp people will get him back to the high ground. Gabby, that was actually pretty close. Oh. He's fine. He's got an arm. Dude, that he's got the toggles, bro. I think he just hit like that. Looked like a one HP. I, he popped the rage late. That wasn't that big punch at the replay. I, that, he was really low. That was a little bit scary. It wasn't Aegis, that low as was it? Aegis timed out yeah. as they were going that for that play. That was actually okay. kind of close for Secret to get him there. So now Secret also they should be aware that they actually haven't dewarded this base ward yet. But with the way they jumped Yapsor, you have to imagine they know that's there. Taking him out, yeah. Yeah, they put down. Let's have a look. Let's see. 
Ready, look. Look, Demonic Purge pops. Right, Demonic Purge pops, Assassinate hits. 15! 15. 15, that's... That was close. It's slow. That was close. I mean, Gabby was like, well, yeah, I was fine, I'm fine. He probably didn't expect the Assassinate and the Purge yeah. to at the exact same time, sure. so he looked like he was not yet popping the range. And this, this game entirely rests on Nisha's ability to hold high ground as a sniper. Yeah. But it's all on him. It really is. There's you know, Zai's... You know, so Zai is still relatively far, but it, it's hard for him as a Centaur to sort of make up for the fact that... In secret, they've only really got one carry. Yeah. Mid one is out of the game. They've got a lot, they've got a lot of things to amplify him, right? They're even building the solo crest on Yapsor, but both Yapsor and Zai have that fantastic time bottom. They've been slowed down so hard. They've been also DMC. top. Need to strike again. Are you with the blink? Mag. They got still have the still. ward this in giving, the base. Giving them so much vital information. Cuckoo. He's looking for Nisha. He's in with the force tough side. We'll be there with the counter play. Oh, well, he's going to jump in. Look for the back line. Straight on to Puppy. Puppy has the disruption to hold him back. Puppy will be able to get away. AU looks for the RP. Won't be able to find it. Skewers in. Gets swapped back. KU swapped in underneath the tier 4 towers. They'll uh -oh. kill off both AU and Cuckoo. This was a dive too far from TNC. Tims also. As Tims. He's found as well. Secret will shut down the offensive. Ooh. He still didn't have the blink dagger on the back. That was a, a, the, one of the most ambitious plays I've, think, I've seen actually from Coop in this one. He that's, just forced staff Like, he was trying to go for the grab that's, there. I mean, the, the TNC fans out there will recognize. That's a bit of the old school TNC showing up. That one was the, the, yeah, the little bit of a... T come on, TNC. Come on now. That's not the play. Yeah, that one was just way too far forward here. That's that's a little bit of a crawl back there for Secret. They're gonna get. They're gonna take as much as they can from that. 45 seconds, no Bat Rider. They know the Bat used buyback earlier, so they're gonna take as much as they can out of it. Pushing far forward, as a full butterfly was finished for Nisha now too. So he's still packing a punch. He is. And he needs to. As I say, he's gonna make up for a lot of the lackings of the team around him at the moment. Yeah. So they still do remain 11k behind. They still do hit absurdly hard, right? They still do have mid one who's... He has 40 armor on the bench, so he's still very tanky too. And not a lot of HP next, though. Yeah, not a lot of he, HP, but sitting... He just has to sit next to the, the sniper. The sniper will be doing insane amounts of damage. Plus over 300. Especially once we start getting more levels coming out on the bench. Since he's level 16, we start to see Horus get leveled up. Really look to make th too many of those more mistakes though on TNC. Should they still have an 11k gold lead, which they're still pretty comfortable in this game, but. <laughs> He's going for the BKB. Still no blink. Said he'll probably get it afterwards. Eventually. Because that Venge, it's still hard. BKB will at least protect him now a lot versus all this the stun and disables that have kind of been bringing him down. He's still very low armor, only 12 armor on the bat, but this is going to allow him to like commit a lot more forward to do the damage and stuff. Full AC now finished on Lifestealer. So much minus armor. That landing stage is just a distant memory, really. Gabby is perfectly farmed, but it's him. That ward with full duration. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna look back and. I mean that, gonna be, I can't believe we didn't deward I mean, that. That one. ward did sort of bait. It did. Bait, bait, it, 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 did. it baited a bad play. It did. So you know, maybe see, it's the, it's the, you know, it's the 500 IQ player. It's like, well, we'll leave this here because uh, <laughs> TNC's probably gonna throw. <laughs> that was a little bit of the case there with that last jump from TNC, but you know, mis you learn from your mistakes, and it's likely the TNC won't be as uh, over aggressive with their jumps anymore in this game. So impressive to see up the last for full Down the, the bottom side, a little bit of a safer one. Cure themselves some bounties as well. So, so as we said, Yapsor, he went for the medallion build after that Aether Lens. He's going back for the, like we said, Solo Crest, as we've been seeing him do. A lot of these just four position by Solo Crest. Just lose your carry. Doesn't matter what hero you're on, just buying the, buying the good items. Yeah. So that's going to be, I throw everything on Sniper and just pray that Nisha can carry you as they are. They're still falling further and further behind as this time TNC is the ones dictating the pace of the game after these last few, after that early, after that early game. And they're controlling the map very nicely. Man, they're going to take this Roshan very easily. Yeah. There's uh, no chance. Secret getting out for this. Uh, three Aegis from TNC. Double Bloodlust, double Empowered. 
course. They're making sure there wasn't going to be a surprise jump. Stun from any There's a secret, a secret there holding themselves down, bottom to get. Bringing out the Lena. It's an SD illusion. I'm full for it. They know it's an illusion. They have traps all over the place, so. Great. We might see them actually. I don't know if they're going to buy a gem now, like now, but we might see them buy one with the. It's, traps are really causing a bit of a problem. For Hold on, sentry. And see there. A better interest is. This tier 2 down bottom. At least have all three lanes pressured in, really, before trying a base jump again. Yeah. To go for the smoke movement down here out of Roche, just in case they caught any secret outside the map. The secret there, they're just holding themselves right by the ancient. Like you said last game, right? They're just trying to you look at their lineup and they have great ways to scale. They have the bloodlust, they have the empower for both cores, and you look at secrets, they only have tech, like, simply, I guess, the, the single core, even though they're gonna be really buffed up and all that. They're probably looking they're like, we can play this, we can play this carefully. Push the towers, take the shrines, farm the map, get ourselves all their next big guns. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Tier 2's taken. Lane now exposed. Pushing in against Secret. Probably their next timing is the double MKB timing on TNC, where then they can come forward and not have to worry about Nisha's butterfly. Do have it queued up. And they will just continue that map and trap inside there. This lead 18,000. Yeah. The satanic complete. Took well, the knockback talent. It kind of makes sense yeah. versus lifestyle and team. It's all about him. Actually, a little bit of kill the, the lifestealer off targets. Come back. The one. Having, having that satanic it's just for a number of reasons. One of the main you know, AU has been the one to look for him with the RP, at least now with that status resistance there. A chance that the, the stun will wear off and turn, hold his ground and heal back up. The one scary thing is that they know that Armel has neither of the saves. He has a BKB, but he has no Aegis, no Cheese TA. It's the life sealer with both of them. Here they're getting getting all these items out. They see the MKB finish on life sealer, MKB TA, and also the Bat Rider blink. Got these three big items coming together. This could be where they try to... Just sort of the way they've been playing right TNC, it's it's always been Gabby, AU, jumping in, forcing the fight. It's, yeah. it's sort of left for Armel to, to jump in and, and pick apart the pieces after the rest of his team's committed. So Armel's very rarely been the, the focus of Secret's damage. As TNC have just been able to, to throw everything else in the faces of Secret first. Yeah. Dyer's bottom that damage, dumping into flight, even though he has 40 armor, you're seeing how much the bench does buff up that sniper. Sure, you know, despite the lead the TNC have, they, they do still have to be very careful. You know, this is Team Secret, a team that he hasn't lost a lot of games. And we've been seeing a lot of comebacks. And we've been seeing indeed. mega creep comebacks aplenty, yeah. and this is a 20k deficit still, but... You gotta yeah, be careful. Gotta be careful at TI. Yeah. The high ground is still a dude. So you want to go for it. Cuckoo just making sure that top half of the map is shoved in as well. Constantly just throwing Lotus Orbs up as well on top of Nisha. Just making sure to protect him. Even if he just walked out to use the Midas and they're like, wait, don't go. Okay, now you can go. We Lotus Orb you. That Aegis, they have about 50 seconds left on it for TNC. They're still just sitting outside, camping on top of high ground. And Bounty Runes. Keeping that gold. And now they do have double catapult wave. Clear those, it's gonna push heavily onto the side of C. TA traps in the mid lane. Tim's was telling him to pop them. Pinging on those traps in mid. Just secret. Using the SD illusions to... At least some sort of information. Is obviously unable themselves to get out on the map and drop wars themselves. They're, they're, they're Maps completely blind. Yep, they're trapped. They're blind. Gonna start starting to move, to move out, out top. Yeah, so. Okay. Away with the smoke. They know that Cuckoo's sort of been playing this top half of the map. 
fire. They're gonna they're gonna put down get some get vision. Yeah, get some vision out. Saw him for a second there. They saw Die. the attack. Does he get the BKB off in time? He gets the blink and the B. Okay, he, he doubles. Him. And just in case, just no in case, worry, no just worry. in case there was a blink in the river, you know that. Play it safe. Play it safe. Press all the buttons. He did. He lives. It worked. TNC, of course, to sweep back up there. The secrets force back to their base. And if that ward gets taken out, that they did place. The Batrider does have the gem on this. That one ward, that secret did. That one little bit of information they had is now gone. It's gonna be something. It's actually like right next to it. It's surprising to see that. Dyer's top tower is under attack. For patience, we can see. They're just sticking all near each other. Just don't let anybody stay alone, because that's where it's off from like a bench swap or just a quick catch. Together. At this point, it probably is just going to be a... Wait till the next rush, for TNC. Yeah, uh, there's no reason at all to, to push before the Roche is up again. You're out farming them in every aspect, right? You're farming three lanes, you're farming both jungles, Go for the next and you're getting the bounties. It's going to be what the, the Axe will refresh you, so... Look at this, the circle's drawn. Look at Cuckoo, he's like, that's that's probably a farm the whole map circle. That's what I would have to imagine it's got. I mean, what what are they hoping for, do you think? Getting an axe, giving it to Cuckoo? Just everybody get next set of items. Why not? You have such a big lead, keep growing it. Whoa. You've got Secret Trapped in the base. How's our levels look? Mid one, he has, okay, so mid one is level 18, almost has Finally AC. Finally got that AC. Yeah, oh, Rich has it done, he's, we said, glorified support. But yeah, level 18, so 1,000 range now for the swap as well. The next one, of course, that goal, as we see when the brought up that level 20, of course. He does get it. Still, so, yep. How are we looking at these goals? Okay, so we have a 27k gold lead. How's our experience? Yep. 20k experience lead. Let's see what the Dota Plus. We haven't glanced at the Dota Plus this time around. And ooh, ooh, Dota whoa, Plus whoa. knows. Dota I Plus mean, they know. It. This, this game should be TNC. They, they continue to play it out like this. Wait for the Roche. Grab all the items from it. It's, there's a very small chance the Secret can spin it around. They does sort of rely on, have to rely on TNC making mistakes. For the most part, TNC have, and there, there was sort of the one bit of a blunder where they, they jumped in mid. There is still just a crazy... Now, now they're just so far ahead. They're, yeah. even, they're even further. They're, when they made that mistake, they were like 12k ahead. Now they're 28k yep. gold ahead. There still is a ridiculous amount of damage that you cannot overlook on the side of Secret. That you, is the you, one thing they have to just, be careful of. They've just got to try and get someone on the sniper. Yeah. Get someone on Nisha. I mean, what, Nisha's saving up the money. I mean, he's, he's close to 25. You get that attack range talent. You can sit back with a with a, with a divine rapier. Yep. And they are. But the you know what I mean? There's got to yep. be that temptation. I mean, obviously he hasn't he hasn't bought anything yet because he can't get to the secret shop, so he cannot even buy any of the parts of the Scotty. Which I mean, that in itself is going to be a bit of a challenge. I, I don't know how they're going to be able to get to the out. secret shop. It has to be off of a fight. You, or you ha or you have to just run the courier top of the map and go to the enemy secret shop. That, that's probably why you. That's yeah, the only way you do it. That's probably why we see TNC just camped around yeah. this area. They're probably Except, like, yeah. They can't pick anything up. Yeah. We got this whole area controlled. The TNC don't have any vision. On that route, you know what I mean? If, if they do send the courier top and down. So you got the swap, quick BKB. We'll be okay. Yeah, he did, as you say. He got, did, get, did actually get swapped in, but was able to BKB blink before damage comes through. Now you have to keep track. You're like, okay, that's one swap. They only have one swap charge right now for the next about, what, 70 seconds or so? Or do you want to try to get some type of, like, get a bounty rune or something for themselves, but no, they'll nah, get the Roche is up, so they'll head over. It's, it's not going to be the Ags, it's going to be the Refresher Shard. I feel they have a Magnus. I got, that's I mean, pretty I cool, guess, too, and a Bat Rider. I feel like you probably would rather it being an Agonis for the Bat Double Lasso at this stage, rather than... Uh, I got a fucking Refresher Shard a bit more. You want to double RP more? Okay. Sure, you use it, okay. so if Ags But that, permanent, that, it requires you difference. to get in and get that RP, which is true. still very hard against Secrets lineup. But now they've got Aegis, they've got Cheese. We'll see. Maybe, maybe indeed, hey, you can, can make the big game ending play. There's smoke forward. They find mid one. They've got the grab. Mid one's caught out. What's the rest of Secret's reaction going to be? They're still caught out inside the base. Armour's able to jump in on Puppy. They take the two of them. Buyback from Puppy comes in. He gets the courier out. 
Yeah, he's actually able to get the courier out during all that. He buys the Ive Scotty. Yeah, it's gonna be the Scotty, not going first. Jump forward, DRP! Oh! They're Angus, fresh. He's got the mods! He's, he's trying to refresh, but indeed he's stunned! They've got the kill though, that's a dieback on Puppy! If they can jump in for more, Firefly to knock back Zai. Kuku has to be careful how deep he goes. So get out of there. So that's that's the first RP down. Did use the shard, not get the chance to get it off. Would have maybe got both the kills rather than just the one if it was successful with the second RP. But quick quick play from Yapsa with that light strike to stop the second one coming in. He hesitated for sure. He RP'd, kind of stood around for a second. He didn't want to just a fresh RP instantly. I sure, think he, he wanted to try and... Yeah, yeah, as you say, maybe getting a bit greedy, trying to yep. get the, the maximum duration gap. He's trying to step forward, but Anisha... Scotty slow. Coming into play here. He forced to infest. Mel, Mel looking away, out. they've got Tims though. Tims is isolated on the side. Tims will fall. Armel's still looking to try and get it. He's going to look towards Mipple. Mipple goes with the magic missile. They managed to take the Aegis down of the house. Of the the He's still alive. Now they drive it back. Mipple falls. Zai turns towards Armel. If they can get these kills here, Nisha just trying to hold his ground, but Gabby with the rage, heads for Yapso, Yapso's dead. But Gabby. Nisha, Zai, they're turning the stop, Gabby's in trouble, Gabby's shot down, it's Nisha with the triple kill, and he may not be done yet, the Modi cars come out, but it was loaded on Nisha's headed. ready to turn, he looks to Cuckoo, that's going to be an ultra kill, he's not done yet, steps in forward, he's just shooting the ball, Nisha, he's got a goddamn bad inside, I can't the ramp, Zai. Come on, Zai. Come on. That, that's just not cool, man. man. But Dude, get them all. Look how much gold he just got. He just finished Zai's got He has 7,000 gold. gold. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. TNC. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. They still don't have this big lead, but... Nisha, look at the damage, damage he is able to do. In 56 seconds. They couldn't stick. They couldn't actually stick on him. He just sat in the back, he, able to peep the whole time. Just his ground. And the thing is also, sure, mid one dies, he buyback dies, but his illusion was still alive. So it's still providing the aura. That extra damage that is still provided from oh, himself no. is still going on to Nisha and during now the Now push him back. There's two heroes dead without buyback on TNC. Cuckoo spent his gold on the Octarine and. It does not inch for Nisha. We'll get a little bit of damage, but he's being careful still. Doesn't know that those buybacks aren't available. Losing a fight with Aegis at a 28k gold lead. That's not great. Gabby, you know, they are to run down sort of the back line as the supports, but Nisha, he just sits there. I think his hands are off the keyboard. Uh, he clicks a Tannic here and Shrapnel, so that's not true. Now he's able to just literally just peep everybody with all the space given that Venge illusion still just buffing Zai, him up. That that's a bit of a question mark for Zai right there, I'll be honest. <laughs> Nisha, Didn't Nisha. Didn't look like he attacked though. It looked like he was still like an animation of the attack. He's a very silent lad. <laughs> but you can know in that moment. He doesn't he care about the kill. Zai, Zai. <laughs> Do you know that? That's, that's, I mean, this is pretty significant though. Now Zai also has a full heart. So this front line is super tanky on the side of Secret now too. Yep. He's also now level 25. Duration the you be picked up as we see there. Long duration stunts coming in. 4.25 seconds. Nisha with the full mule near now. Oh my goodness. Mid one about to be level 20. Queued up the agonims oh. as well as expected on the bench. So he's just all about being able to buff up his buddy. The Nisha sniper. And again, this is. Now, this is sort of a similar feel to like when Nisha's combat in the past before in his Dusa. You know what I mean? It's these sort of heroes oh. that he just carries the game out. So what do we got? He took the uh, magic missile cooldown instead on mid one. Instead of going for the vengeance, sorry. Right. It works really right. well with your Aghanims if you're able to get yeah. it too, because you're still able to shoot three second cooldown missiles. It's probably overall the better talent, because it's just insane how strong it synergizes. You get your level 20. Bottom, the bounties, the secret. You can actually push themselves out forward here. Oh, so he's busy. Zai's gonna jump in. Hey, you going light strike down to them. Gabby does get the range up. Focus on one side, but they've lost AU. AU buys back immediately. Zai Zai shot. He's starting to shoot off Gabby. Gabby's able to jump inside Armel. Gets slided, slid to the side with the four stop. Back off. Fly back. He's having to use. Uh oh, they actually can't kill Zai when he jumps in like that. Oh, he's too tanky. He's way too tanky. Way they get too the disruption. Tanky. They have a 24k lead, but they are struggling, TNC. To be able to get in the back line somehow, How because there's so many, like we said in the beginning of the draft, there's a lot of saves, and they've been making them work. He has to be able to land some to the far peak. He's not given too many opportunities. They're focusing a lot of attention on him. Tim's pretty sure that's how he feels right now. Ah! 
game. The frustration has got to be there for CNC. They crushed the mid game. They have built an incredible lead, but still they are struggling to push high ground at this point. They're struggling to even get close to the high ground secret. They're able to get outside of the base now as they know that these team fights, they absolutely can go secrets way. Should have what, the constant firefly as well with that. If I'm, yeah, he has the permanent firefly now. Pretty much ready for himself too, so he'll always be able to go. They're still just trying to farm the map, but yeah, like you said, secret, they've gotten themselves outside. So now they can at least control the bottom side. We see they put heavy amount of ward emphasis, tons of obs wards and sentries just needing vision for the fight. Dyer's top tower is under attack. He's set up, Zai, he's pushing forward pretty far, Zai. He's got a blink up in two seconds, they're hunting, he's popping the stampede to try to kite them out he here. He knows they're coming, can they find him? He's sneaky, is Cuckoo gonna get him? <gasps> oh, oh, he's so close. Out of there, so. so that was very close for him dying, I mean, very, he does not. Very he, close. He doesn't have buyback even. All right. He did clear out the double catapult wave. find some way on getting on top of top of sniper and killing him but there's sort of all the saves that we talked about secret having that they didn't really get to do too much with in the mid game they're getting to do a lot with them now okay. the stampedes the disruptions the swaps all this sort of chaos makes it very hard for tnc to reliably deal with the sniper in these fights if lotus orbs prison guards there's everything solo crests yeah. just all these different things they've been having stats now finished up on uh yep a little bit of shadow for a fight anything to just protect Nisha. Nisha here. Farm C, Nisha, far kill lead, and the creeps killed. We're seeing the similar thing coming out from Secret as TNC did in the last time. Playing on that right side. They're playing on the high ground. Well, radiant to their on the left. And now Secret, they're smoking up, though. Mid one gets the swap out. The BKP will be quick, but Nisha's starting to hit onto him. The rest of TNC are coming in. Alan's trying to focus for Zai. He's able to get the stun on him. Are you holding up the RP for now? He can't get in. There'll be a buyback from Cuckoo. Secret Crimson Guard buffed out. They cannot kill Zai. Zai far too beefy. Mid one is the only one to fall on Secret. And there's the, the jump, Cuckoo. The buyback. He is able to get the grab. Can they kill him in time? They're focusing Nisha. Nisha slides down below grab. And they killed the sniper. TNC, that's the big kill they need to open up the fight for them to move over. And clean up the rest of Secret. Cuckoo, Tim's on top of Yapsu. Yapsu try for the TP out. Will may not make it home. TNC have cleaned them up. They do it. Cuckoo with the buyback, catching Nisha, dragging him over to TNC's half of the map. Literally on the perfect spot possible. How long for buybacks? They do have buyback on mid one in about five seconds, but there's no Zai. And AU's still got the RP. They get a blink RP sniper, it's game over. And he almost was able to get in that last fight. He actually got hit by a Maelstrom plot, and then he had to stop cancel his RP. So they're able to now finally claim themselves as second racks. Very long time of being held off. Who gets the final? Let's jump. And another big jump up in gold lead. Yep. 37,000 gold lead now for TNC. Four buybacks from C. We'll see how safe they want to play out if they want to force it. You said they're going to know that four buybacks are, are unavailable. Wait for, I, I think you wait for Roche. It's too you have yeah, to know two it's going to be coming up pretty soon. Because they have that time in a play. If they can go for the Roche, those buybacks are still going to be down for at least you know, three minutes, right? They're still considering going while Zai is dead for 40 seconds. Can they grab mid one? Steps forward. Gabby will show himself. Nisha's starting to poke in. They've got to all focus on Nisha. All focus on the sniper. Okay, they forced the glyph. Still sitting here in the area. Zai's coming back in about 20. Roche, 1 minute 30. They have a trap in it, so the one nice thing I guess they do, they'll always know when it does spawn instantly, so. Gone. Back in the game. Rings are up. Yeah, they'll back up. So they were just trying you to get reset. as much as possible out of when yeah. Zai was dead. The game back to the point where you're keeping secret held in the base. Now, we say get that Roshan. It's going to have the Agonims. It is going to have the Refresher Shard. Again, you're right. You Get that refresher shot over to AU. Get that Agonims over to Cuckoo. I think so too, yeah. Unseen, but not unskilled. Such an incredible. 5 9 and 18, bat. but it's, he's really been dominating. This is, this is the best hero. And that is the Cuckoo Bat. Legends. And it's a thing that they did keep sort of hidden in the draft, right? They saved it to the last pick. 
when they had picked the ogre first. Pass the draft. Good item it is. He sold the treads. It's oh, the rapier. Oh yeah! Let's go. Nisha. He's got it. He's got the deeps. If they can keep him safe, he's gonna hurt. He's really got it. I mean, he was still pretty hit, hitting pretty hard before. Now it's now he's gonna be killing targets much faster. The life stealer is gonna get brought down at a much faster pace. He's in 31 armor, but. You see Lifestealer also, I was gonna say, I think Gabby's gonna queue this up soon as a Blink Dagger himself. Any way to get on top of Sniper. Everybody right, have a Blink. up. TNC, they gotta go for the Roshan. The trap set up around the area, there, also putting a high ground ward. There's no way she could come out to run no. TNC is just gonna get this. Yep. Too risky for them. They still have, how many cheese have come before? They still have, uh, they yeah, still the one, on right? Yeah. Here we go. Who's gonna be taking it all? Wait, to the axe, did? They give it to Tim's? They give it to Tim's? They give it to Tim's? They give it to Tim's! Okay, because he's... Yeah, Blink, Dude, that, Blink, that, that's, just, that's disrespecting Kuku, I think. You yeah. want to get the double lasso. Yeah. yeah. Tim's yeah. is feeling himself. Yeah. So that's mine. Uh, he's past 25 talent. Uh, it doesn't work, of course, on the unrefined fire blast. Oh, he does do a lot of damage. Been found outside of the base. Oh. I think you let this man die. No buyback. No, 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 Tim's! Look to lead him for more. Just get them off. He cast off onto mid one. Axe steppers one. Mid one. He jumps. He's outside the main side. Jumps in. He gets the loose up with the three member. And his missile blade drops down as well. They managed to shoot down the TA. Nisha doing the damage with the rapier. Double kill for Nisha. TNT. They've got to retreat. Cuckoo throws it up to the high ground. Zion Yak. So trying to chase. He's coming back for more. He stepped in. They've got another fire to Zion. Tim. He's in. He's in. Multi curse on Nisha. Nisha forced up to the high ground. Yep. So trying to do his best to save the life track. Will hold back the younger buyback. Comes up inside Nisha. Yes. He shoots. Yes. He with another fire. Secret lead finally in this tournament. Nine and one, I believe. Secret as TNT with this trap after a very, very rough Top playing lines. phase start. This mid game was played so well by them. They controlled the game perfectly, and Cuckoo on this bat yep. finding the clutch pickoffs for his team. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant game from TNC, and you know, one of the one of the reasons why they have the, the adoring fans that they do.